easy to put your fingers on and play those chords nicely. All right, it's time to change strings. And we're going to start with the lowest string, which is the sixth string, the E string, the low E string. We're going to put it through the tail piece. Put it through the hole there. Pull it over the bridge. And pull it all the way out here, sticking it into the machine head. Okay, pull the string tight and leave yourself a little bit of slack, just about this much slack. Then pull the string under the string and then back over the string. That is the trick right there. If you can master that, you're totally good to go. And then wind it with the peg winder just like this. You can get this at any music store for a buck or so. Got to have it because it's easier than turning it with your fingers. And just turn it until it's flush with the body and the neck of the guitar and you're good to go. And if you want to keep your guitar neat, cut them off like this. Easy. The strings can be pretty expensive, so you don't need to go changing them all the time. Actually, you can keep strings on as long as they stay in tune, and that can be months. You know, you don't really need to change them that much. Sometimes you might break one string or something like that. Then you need to go to the music store and get that one string separately and change just that one. You don't need to change all your strings if you break one. But uh, even if your strings get rusty and dirty, you can keep them on there as long as they stay in tune. And uh, as long as they sound OK while you use your tuner, you can keep your strings on.